Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. So do you carry one in the chamber? That's what this video is about. I, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm in the automotive industry and where my shop is, it's, uh, you know, kind of a, uh, kind of a shady side of town, but, um, you always gonna be, you have to be packing over there. You never know what's going to happen or what's going to go on over there. Um, so one time I had a vendor come in, he was, uh, I think he was selling transmission parts and we were talking about guns and concealed carry and all that kind of stuff. And he's an older gentleman. I'm, I'm 39. I believe he was a uh, guy in his sixties, older gentleman, but, um, he said, uh, he had like, he showed me his permit and he goes, yeah, look, I got my, my Glock. Cause in California you can only carry, well, depending on where you are, you can only carry like four guns on your permit. It's kind of ridiculous, but, um, you gotta make sure whatever your four gun lineup is, it's something that you, you know, trust your life with. Um, you can't just have a bunch of different, you can't just carry any gun you own. So it's ridiculous. But anyway, he was showing me that he carries Glocks mainly. He had a Glock 19. I think he had a 26. Um, and I can't remember if he had a Glock 30 or something like that. But uh, anyway, he was telling me he doesn't carry around in the chamber. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, especially at his age, you know, the guy's in his 60s. He's probably 65. And, you know, if anything, if, if a problem ever arose and he had to pull his weapon out and then he had to charge it and then he had to point, find his target and then shoot... It, it could be too late. That's that extra step that you don't want. It's that extra step that you don't need to have. Um, I carry one in the chamber. I carry one always in the chamber. If you look, this is a snap cap, okay, just for demonstration purposes, but this is how I carry all the time, okay, with one in the chamber. So when I pull my weapon, I'm out, I find my target, and I go, go to town, okay? Um, I'm not looking to shoot anyone. I don't want to. I know that uh, shooting someone in self-defense is going to be a real bad thing. It's going to be devastating. It's going to be a lot to go through. Um, but this is a tool. This is here to save your life. That's what it's for. And if you're not going to use it for what it's intended for, then don't carry. Why would you want to carry? So guys, carry one in the chamber, okay? No matter what. That's what I recommend doing. If it's in the holster, inside the waistband, outside the waistband, if you have it in the holster already, the trigger guard is completely covered. You are not gonna accidentally discharge this weapon. There is nothing that's gonna make this thing go off. If you look at it, I have an apex trigger in here, but just like the original trigger, if you push down on this without touching that center, center uh, dingus or whatever you wanna call it, it will not fire. So there is no way that this pistol is going to go off unless you push this, this dingus in and pull the trigger. Okay. That's the only way it's going to go off. There's no other way that it's going to go off. Okay. Now, if you're carrying a gun like this, okay, which this is not my carry rotation. This is a range toy of mine, CZ 75 SP01, but I carry it cocked and, or if I did carry it, I would carry it cocked and locked just like a 1911. Okay, that's how you would do it. Um, this one, I have a round in the chamber. I have a snap cap round in the chamber. So if I was carrying this, I would obviously not carry it like this. Okay, not locked. Because look at the trigger pull. So if you, this is a real light trigger pull, especially compared to this. So if this can accidentally go off easily, but if you have this in a holster and this trigger guard is covered, even if it's cocked, and you don't have it locked, it won't go off. There's no way, it's impossible. Unless somebody hit this hammer real hard, which I, be, I, I doubt it's gonna release, okay? But it's not gonna go off. You know, it's funny, the CZ in their custom shop, they remove the firing pin blocks. Their custom guns don't come with them. Most of them don't come with them. And they do thousands of drop testing and all kinds of things to see if it'll go off without even that firing pin block. And they don't go off. So what makes you think that it's going to go off if you just have it in your waistband or outside the waistband if it's covered? The trigger housing's covered. Trigger guard's covered. It's not going to happen. So there you have it, guys. I just want to go over that with you. I've had 
I don't know, I've seen a lot of videos about it. And then this guy, when I talked to him, it just, I was like, you know what? I need to make a video on this. I'm not sure if anyone really understands. I'm, I'm not, I haven't been carrying all my life. I've been carrying a couple of years now, but I know enough and I've had enough experience to know how to carry now. And when you're, when you first start carrying, you are a little worried about it, I guess. But after you get the hang of it, you're good to go. Okay. So, uh, thank you for the subscriptions. I think I'm at like 53 now. I'm super happy. I'm going to continue to grow the channel, but, um, please subscribe, please like, and I will see you guys in the next one. And also to help my channel, um, if you're on your PC, I don't think you can see this on your phone, but if you're on your PC watching my channel, there's a little link on the right hand side, I think for my Amazon link. Okay. If you click on that, if you buy gun stuff, holsters, magazines, whatever, uh, even diapers or TVs, whatever you want to buy, that will help my channel tremendously just by clicking that. Um, I get a little small, small percentage, but it'll help me to buy more things for the channel, of course. So obviously gun channels and most other channels on YouTube, the monetization, you're, you're not going to make any money, but that's a way that we can both win. You can buy what you need at a discounted price and it'll help me. Okay. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.